is just a little van car that I picked up. And I thought, how cute would it be if we made this into like a beach van and then applied a surfboard on top? <laughs> now, a hack that I have given you guys before is to use cupcake toppers in your crafting. And this is exactly what this little surfboard is. It's a cupcake topper. I don't know if this little surfboard is too big. I love it and I'd like to be able to use it. But if we do think it's too big, I do have a stick, just a craft stick here. And I think that we can fashion that into a little bit smaller of a surfboard that might fit our van a little bit better. So the first thing we want to do is get this van coated in some white chalk paint so then we can go over it and the colors will adhere and we will get like a little funky beach van made out of this. So I have completed the chalk paint on the little van and when I'm done, I always go back. I'm terrible with chalk paint, I'm very messy. <laughs> but I'll go back and clean up the places that I did get the chalk paint that I don't want. Usually it just scrapes off of the plastic. But anyway, I have the van painted and I might just leave it white because I have an idea that I think would look cute on here and I'm gonna share that with you. I have given you the hack before of using stickers in your crafting. I do have some stickers. I have some cute flower stickers. That would be so cute on the side of the little van that's gonna be our little beach van. So I have some flowers here to pick from. Or being that it's going to be going to the beach, I also have lots of beach summer stickers here. So I love this one. I think this little beach party sticker would look so cute on the side of that. It might be a little too big, but I might could make it work. Got some little suns here that would be cute. So even a wave might be cute on there. So anyway, stickers can be your best friend when you're crafting. So between cake toppers and stickers, you can really take your crafts to the next level because these are great additions. So now it's just going to be applying some stickers on here and try to make this little original car from Dollar Tree look like a beach van. Okay, so I've definitely decided to go with the beach on the side of our little van. I did cut down the sticker quite a bit, but beach and party will not fit. So we're just going to go with beach on this side, maybe put party on the other side. So let's peel this off and apply that to our little truck. Now, if you have a Cricut machine, of course, something cute that would be on a beach van would be Surf's Up. You can make a smaller version. This one's entirely too big. But I like to show some craft items that you do not have to have a Cricut to make. So that's why I like to show items with stickers. So there we go. We've got beach on one side. And I think I'm going to trim up party and put that on the other side. But maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So the beach stickers on there looks really cute. I decided not to put party on the other side because I'm just in love with this little row of flowers right here. So I think those would be cute on the other side. So we're definitely going to peel those off, put them on the other side of our little beach van. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? <laughs> okay. So we have our beach on, we have our flowers on. Now we're just gonna embellish around. So let's cut up this cute little pink one. I don't know where I got these stickers, but they definitely have a big border around them, but that's not a problem just to peel that right off. So we have that little flower. Put that on there, it's gonna kinda make it match the other side. <laughs> How cute. Sometimes I feel like a kid when I'm crafting. It's just so much fun. <laughs> okay, so there we have our little beach fan and we're ready to place our surfboard on top. 
Now, I don't really know much about surfing, so I did look up a few pictures, and I realized that this part of the surfboard sticks up when you're hauling it. I did notice that, although I guess you could face it down, but it's very obvious it's a surfboard when this little fin back here is sticking up. So, I don't know if I think that's too big for this beach thing. Maybe there's surfboards that more than one person can ride on. <laughs> Let's just pretend so in this case. <laughs> but I do think we need to put something on our surfboard. Maybe to match our little van. So let's go for it. Okay, now another great thing about stickers is you can manipulate them. So I've trimmed off the excess from the sticker. And now we're ready to apply it to our surfboard. Now this one's kind of large. So I think maybe we'll put that right in the center. And then we'll manipulate the other ones by cutting them in half and having them hang off there on the sides. And I'll show you what I mean right here. So what I mean by manipulating stickers, you can pretty much just place your sticker going off of your item. Just like that. Then flip it over and trim off your excess. And there you see. Your, your stickers don't have to be whole everywhere. You can have stickers as if they're going off the side. So I think we need a few more stickers. Okay, we have another one. Let's just stick a whole one right there. Crafting is so much fun. I hope you guys get as much enjoyment out of crafting as I do. <laughs> so I'm gonna trim this sticker up and we're gonna put it on and I think we'll be done with our little surfboard. Put that there on the side, then turn it over and just cut off your excess. You can even use that other one somewhere else on your surfboard. <laughs> oh my goodness, adorable. Okay, so I've completed the little van. I think it looks rather cute. <laughs> that would be cute, this is cute on a beach tier tray or just in a gnome garden. Sometimes big planters look really nice with some gnome items around the base of a large plant. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use these yet, but I know that I really do like this little beach van. Now, as I told you, this is a cake topper. Now, I know that everyone doesn't have cake toppers, so I did want to show you how to make your surfboard out of a craft stick. So all I did was take my pencil and kind of draw out my lines for my surfboard. Then here on the bottom I made a little fin because that little fin is sticking up there on the surfboard. So now all you have to do is either cut this with an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors. I'm going to try my scissors. I have some really sharp ones that I like a lot and sometimes they're just fairly easy to cut these craft sticks with. So let's see if that's going to work. I think that's gonna work fine. Okay, so there we go. We've got the outline of the surfboard, and you can take some of the sandpaper and sand those sides up pretty even. Okay, so I've sanded all around the edges of the surfboard that I have made out of a craft stick. And I wanted to let you know that I attempted, I had a little piece drawn on the bottom of the craft stick there for the fin of the surfboard. However, when I went to cut the tiny pieces, uh, my scissors that I was using these just you know, made the little tiny piece crack. So I've gone on and drawn another piece of the fin on this here wooden spoon. 
and I'm going to attempt to cut it with my X-Acto knife. This is a little more finesse and you don't uh, stand as much of a chance of breaking your craft stick if you use the X-Acto knife. So for the X-Acto knife, pretty much just outline your item or your drawing. And just make slow cuts all the way down until you can break that piece apart without actually breaking your fin. That was a little harder than I thought. This large craft stick cut very easily with these scissors. Then when I got to the fin, I had a little bit of trouble because I was trying to cut something so tiny, I believe. But anyway, the X-Acto knife did work. I just kept going at it until I was able to mark it on both sides and you just keep plugging away at it. There for a minute I was thinking I was gonna look for another way to do this. <laughs> but then I thought, no, I'm gonna persevere here. So now that it's, it's almost all the way through, we can break that off and we have success. So there we go. There's a little fin for the back of our surfboard. And now just go sand that up and we'll glue those two pieces together. Okay, so there we have it. We have a fin on our surfboard made from craft sticks. So that's an alternative for you if you do not have cupcake surfboards. I didn't want to do this video without having a way to show you that it can be done with all Dollar Tree items. The truck is Dollar Tree and the surfboard is Dollar Tree. Of course, the stickers, you can get those just about anywhere, but it is, it is possible to do it with everything from Dollar Tree. I do like this little surfboard better, but of course, that's something that I had in my cake decorating supplies. So then you, you would just decorate this, design it, paint it however you would like it, and then place it on the top of your truck. So we're not gonna let this little surfboard go to waste since I didn't use it on my van. It can still be used in our decor. So I went ahead and painted it. And now this is Dollar Tree. I have these little pineapples. That's appropriate for the beach. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick that little pineapple right there on the top with some glue. There we go. <laughs> It looks like it needs just a little bit more there. How about some green polka dots? We'll put some green polka dots on there. Now one thing that I like to do when I'm going to make a polka dot on something is I'll take the end of my paintbrush and I'll just dip it right into the paint. And I'll come right out and just make some dots on my little surfboard. Kind of make some cute dots. Let's put some on the fin. Okay, let's just don't stop with one color. Let's go in with some yellow. Make a few more. Just using regular acrylic paints. Dip that brush right in, or the brush tip right in and go in with your little polka dots. Let's put some on the fan. And there you have it. So I thought it would be cute if we made a little beach house out of this little house form that I have here. And I think that beach houses have some little awnings on them. So I thought we'd start off with cutting our popsicle sticks or our craft sticks to form this little awning that's gonna go across the front. Then of course we can paint them either blue and white alternating or whatever. But I'm gonna show you that we're going to line these little craft sticks up just like this. We start right in the center. There. Then as you line them up, pretty 
much just need to sketch where you're going to be cutting the sticks off at. We'll have one more on here. It's gonna come straight down. Now what we'll do is we'll take our scissors and we'll cut those lines. And then we'll have our roof little awning roof ready for a little beach house. So let's cut those off. And so there you go. You can see how we made the little individual awning pieces that'll be going across the top of our house. Now all we have to do is mimic these the different direction to go back down this side and then we'll have the whole roof done in the awning pieces. Okay, so I got the little roof shingles cut and I've divided them into even and odd. I numbered them as they were lined up across the roof. So now I know that I'm going to paint the even one color and the odd another color before I attach them back on there with hot glue. So I thought I would do blue and white. I just love blue and white for the ocean. And I love the chalk paint because it covers so well. So I'm going to paint one set in blue and one set in white. And then I figure we'll have some yellow on our little house. Okay, so I've got each individual little Thing painted here. I did the house in a yellow and the blue and white awning. So I'm just going to slide the little awning pieces off, get my glue gun, and glue those to the roof. Okay, we have that. Now I think we're just going to come in and make a couple of shingles here on the top of our little beach house to hide all this uneven edges. And we're gonna come in and mark where we would do that cut. Get out our trusty little scissors and cut that right off. Okay. Let's glue that one on. Cut the one for the other side. Yeah, I think that's a cute fit. So I'll go ahead and glue that on. And we will cover this up with a flag or something like little beach houses have there at the top. What I like about crafting, if you have imperfections, just stick a sticker over it, stick a flower over it, whatever works. <laughs> okay, so I think our little beach house needs a door. This one looks pretty cute to me. So I'm just going to mark this craft stick and then we'll have our little door to place on. Before I cut that, actually, I'm gonna give it a coat of paint. I think the blue might be cute for the little door. So I'm gonna give that a coat of paint so I'll have something here to hold on to. Let's get that painted in blue. So the little blue door is dry. I painted over my mark, so I have to add another mark there. I've placed it on here where I think it would go. Make another line. And cut that bottom off. There we go. Just glue that on. <laughs> there it is. Now another thing that I do have is these tiny, tiny seashells from Dollar Tree. They sell them in a glass bottle and I go in and just separate them because there's a couple different styles in there. But I thought, how cute would it be if we used one of these tiny round seashells for the doorknob? Let me show you one of them can get it up there and show it to you. Just a very tiny little seashell there. <laughs> so I think that would be cute as our doorknob on our door. So we'll put some glue on that and stick a doorknob right on there. A little seashell doorknob. <laughs> there we go. 
uh, for me not really knowing what I'm doing as far as a beach house goes. <laughs> this is turning out pretty cute, I think. Another thing that might be cute is if we take some of these little seashells and place them along the bottom there. I think I placed a couple little shells there to kind of match the little door handle. And the last item, well, not the last item, the last item to put on the bottom, I think, is going to be this little float here that also came from the store. We will put it there on the bottom. So now it's starting to look more and more like a little beach house. I'm feeling more and more confident about it. Now I feel like it's still lacking something. And I have this other piece of the door that I had cut down. So I think what we need to do, we need to cover up this little bump we have here in our uneven wood. So what if we make a little sign on here that says Surf Shack and put that there at the top of our little building. So I think what I need to do is paint it white so when I do go to write Surf Shack on there, it's going to show up really nicely. So I have a little sign painted white. It's gonna be cute on there. It says Surf Shack. So I'm gonna have to write that. <laughs> I'm not too great at writing, but I'll give it my best go. And before putting that on there, I thought it might be cute if we made this look like little logs from, you know, the sign is put together by like some logs or some slats of logs. So we're just gonna take a, another stick just to use for, for the straight edge. We'll take our black marker, just kind of go along very lightly, just to give the indication that that is, you know, it's made up of wood. Okay, there we go. Looks a little, a little bit like a wood planks there, making up our sign. <laughs> and now, oh no, is the time to write the surfs up. Oh, don't be afraid. I'm not going to be afraid. <laughs> I think this would really be cute made with the Cricut, but not everybody has a Cricut, so we will attempt to write it out here. No, it's not Surf's Up, it's Surf Shack. And kind of the rough, the rough draft on there. <laughs> Surf Big, Shack Little. So now I'm just going to go over and make it a little bit easier to read. I did place the a little piece of wood block on the back so they will stand up. And I covered up those unsightly <laughs> side pieces so it's actually sitting on the shelf. It's not gonna be so noticeable there on the sides because that's been covered up. Finally, there's two more things I think the little beach house needs. First of all, I think it needs a little window there and I'm gonna do it, they're called portholes. So that you see them on ships. So I'm going to do a little porthole window right there on our door. To do that, I'll just take something that's a circle and draw around that outline there. So we get a pretty good little shape of a circle. Not too bad. <laughs> And then I'll use another straight and draw our little porthole across there. That's what the porthole window looks like. I'll just go over that a little bit darker so it will show up. We're gonna put one more item here on our little surf shack. And have you ever seen those fishermen's floats there at the beach? I thought it would be cute if we tied some of these on a string and maybe hung that there on the side and we would have little fishermen's floats. I do have another video that actually shows how to make a fisherman's float and put it on a lantern using Dollar Tree items. So you might wanna check that out. So I know that some of these have a band in the center. So we're gonna take a permanent marker just draw this big fat band right around the center of this one. 
And then how about on the red one, we make one along the top and the bottom. Okay, so we got our two little floats there. And we're just going to run our thread through. <laughs> that looks like a little fisherman's float. So now we're just going to knot them so they'll stay together at the end. Maybe offset them a tiny bit. Slide that knot down to the bottom. <laughs> what do you think of that? I like it. So I think somehow we need to place them on our little our little building here. So our little surf shack is complete. I really love these these two little fisherman's floats there. <laughs> and the seashell doorknob. I just love it. The only thing I don't love is my handwriting. <laughs> but everything else I just think is super cute. Now, since this is our little surf shack, we could come in and place our little surfboard that we made earlier right there against our little surf shack. And it's ready to go. And I was looking at the windows of our little surf shack here, and I thought maybe we could put something right there in that window. So, of course, in my sticker stash, I had this little strip here that's got some cute little drinks on it. So I believe I'm gonna cut a few of those out and put them there in the window. I think that's exactly what our little surf shack needed. <laughs> you can see a good close up there. We used a lot of mediums here. We used some seashells, we used craft sticks, stickers. I went back and put stickers because you know I don't like my handwriting. <laughs> we used some beads over here thought of another cute little project. It's gonna be a sign, I think, that will warn about sharks. I've been to the beach, there's been signs up warning you about sharks. So I thought it would be cute if we had a shark bite out of the sign there. So it's just a Dollar Tree sign. And we're gonna take these great scissors and just start cutting some little teeth marks in there, just like little triangles is what I'll cut. And uh, see what that's gonna look like. Maybe I can get it to look like a shark bite out of that sign. Okay, so I'm kind of on my way here. I'm working on it. I think it's looking kind of like a, a bite. Maybe once we get it painted and something written on the sign or a sticker there on the sign, I don't know. But once we put something on the sign, maybe it'll even look more like a shark bite there. So I'm gonna paint this up. Okay, so I've painted the little shark sign with the bite out of it <laughs> in white. And I do want to go back over that with the darker marker and make it look like the wood again. I really like that on that other sign. So let's do that here. Okay, so the little sign is done. I marked it up to look like some slats there and hopefully that looks like a shark bit it. <laughs> So now I want to use a brown marker and color in this post piece. And I did cut off that sharp tip of those kebab sticks so I can glue that right there onto our little stand. That flat piece makes it adhere much better. Okay, as I was coloring that in the brown, I think it doesn't look good. This is white wood up here. I think that should be white as well. So we'll paint all of this right here in white. So I finished the sign, placed some little seashells down there at the bottom. Now I've told you before, stickers can be your best friend when it comes to crafting. And I got in my sticker stashed. I do have one marked ocean, not surprising. <laughs> and I could not find any shark stickers whatsoever. I found dolphin stickers, but that wouldn't hardly go with our theme of beware because we would all love to see dolphin at the beach. But I did have this scrapbook paper and on this scrapbook paper, you can see there is a little shark there <laughs> with his teeth glaring out there. So that's the shark I decided to cut out and place on our little sign. I think that might be cute. So when you're cutting something 
intricate like this little shark that we're going to be doing with the teeth and everything. I do recommend these scissors by Fiskars. They are awesome with this sharp tip to go around the little areas like the teeth. So I do recommend these. They're very, very good scissors when you're doing intricate cuts. Okay, so I cut my little shark out. <laughs> and I'm going to place him on the sign. I'm just going to use some scrapbook glue here. Now, like I said, I do craft on the fly <laughs> and make it up as I go along. And if I'd have thought about it, I probably would have put the shark's teeth on this side where it had bit the where it had bit the sign, but I didn't. I didn't realize I was even going to use this shark until the sign was pretty much made. So we're going to stick that on with some scrapbook glue. The little shark is stuck there on our sign that's got the bite out of it. We've got some little seashells down there at the bottom, and I think that's totally cute. Let's see what else we can come up with to place on a tray. One final item that I was able to pick up there at the store was this little gnome. He's standing there at the beach with his surfboard and it says it's five o'clock somewhere. I don't know if, if it works the same for you, but usually when I get something like this from the store, the paint markings are off. I don't know if the factory, when it stamps the colors or how that works, but the colors usually seem to be off. So I find myself just going back over and repainting these little items that I get from the store and I do like them much better when they when they look like this. So that's one little addition to our big collection today that we did for our video. So we got the gnome, we have the sharp sign, <laughs> we have our little surf shack, and we have our beach van. Let's not forget our little surfboard we made. I really enjoyed this video today. I enjoy crafting, and I'm happy that you like to come along and craft with me. Thank you for joining me today, and so long.